I want to talk a little bit more about brainwashing and how to brainwash yourself, um, which you can also say is preaching the gospel to yourself or encouraging yourself in the Lord or speaking God's promise to yourself and reminding yourself who you are in Christ. People have different ways of describing it, but I'm going to read some testimonies from my wall of people talking about how this works. Um, first person says, preaching the gospel to myself, sometimes several times a day, reminding myself who I am in Christ and my inheritance and what God has to say about me. This is now the longest I've ever gone without having a bout of severe condemnation, depression, and anxiety. Every time I hit a bump, I start preaching to myself and have my mind set on what Jesus has already done for my freedom. My sense of peace stays intact. Jesus is here for me and in me today. It's been nearly 10 years that I, it's been nearly 10 days since I've felt like I'm in a state of rest. This is a big deal for me because with my back injury, I'm stuck in a bed every day and usually my mind is my worst enemy. But the gospel is daily food has given me freedom that a healthy back never could. I am finally being able to see my infirmity in the light of a contributing to my spiritual growth. And I'm simply okay in the fact, joyous about being in a position physically, mentally, and spiritually that I can behold Christ without many of the outside distractions that I've had to deal with in the past. My concept of my limitations is changing. My physical pain hasn't lowered, but it's more, now a more manageable situation because I know that Christ is here now. And even though I don't know what it looks like very much, I do know there's light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you, Jesus. Like Jesus is walking me to Jesus. <laughs> Here's another person. This is so true, brother. The flood of grace that comes when preaching the gospel, I can finally relax. The restoration of all things, that's it. So many years of suffering and worry are now beautiful, yielding to a beautiful, sweet peace. Here's another one. Thanking God for each of his blessings or promises, such as thank you for promising that perfect love casts out all fear. Thank you for giving us a chance through your son's propitiation for our sins and cleansing us of them to be remembered no more. Thank you, Father, for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to dwell in heavenly places with you and just rest until our rapture, for telling us in your word the things before they happen to prepare us, etc. God loves a thankful heart. Uh... Preaching the gospel to myself this year has been some of the most practical advice that actually works. I preach myself two ways. One way takes about three or four minutes. The other takes about 15 minutes if I'm really caught up in the flesh and I take a deep breath and remind myself how I got saved. I believe God on the gospel. It always works, too. God's moving. Also, I made a video for myself about five months ago uh, and listened to it. It reminds me, too. Well, that's interesting. Thank you, Terry, for having the courage to testify. I can appreciate how you said that you go to the throne of grace several times a day when you preach the gospel to yourself. I have found myself going to the throne of grace several times a day when I find myself condemning myself and when I hear myself preaching the gospel to myself. The condemnation goes away with the simplicity. It becomes more evident and easier to rest on. God bless you, sister. Hopefully we can hear from you soon. Uh, preaching the gospel to yourself is powerful. It will tread the devil underfoot, and it is definitely much more beneficial than daily affirmations with Stuart Smalley. And then here, I have not felt God's grace in a profound way in probably about two years. However, I was laying on my bed yesterday with my curtains open, and I started looking at the sky, and I remember saying to God, I know your word is truth. I know that I'm saved because I believe your death, burial, and resurrection in my heart, even if I don't have feelings about it now. I asked him to remind me once again who I am in him and he gave me and to give me peace and rest. Well, out of nowhere, his grace and spirit just flooded my heart and assured me with profound feeling and joy that I am his. He is mine. And I began to cry and worship him and thank him for saving me. My relationship with God over the past 15 years has been interesting. It's been days uh, and even months where I was filled with incredible joy and I shared the gospel and love of God with joy. Then there were other months even a full year where I got into legalism somehow where I lost the joy I had before. But every step of the way, God is just showing me no matter how I feel, his love never changes, and I need to just trust him all the time. Ah, praise the Lord. Um, yes, the new and living way is Christ in us. Today I had a rough patch, and in prayer I thank God for the gospel. I was feeling so oppressed. And the Lord impressed me to read Psalm 68. The first three verses, one, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let also them that hate him flee before him. As a smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. I was renewed immediately. This teaching is refreshing. Okay, so there are some brainwashed lemmings who are all 
speaking the same language. But you know what we notice? They have variety in their language, and yet they're speaking the same thing. Are they mindlessly repeating my words? No, they're each expressing in their own experience how the word has touched them. And they're getting brainwashed. This is how you brainwash yourself. It's really important that we do this. And if you want to call us the Brainwash Club, I'll make t-shirts you can buy. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but no, we need to brainwash ourselves and we need to focus on brainwashing each other. And really it's feet washing, but we'll call it brainwashing for now because that seems to be a great term.